The Lay Maritime Workers Union and the Ahi and Labu landowners in Moribe province yesterday petitioned the national government for engaging a foreign company at the Lay Main Wharf. The petition was directed to Prime Minister Pete O'Neill and the Minister for State Enterprises and Investment, Ben Micah. They say all their demands are non-negotiable and had given 48 hours ultimatum as of yesterday. Charles Kicking reports from Lay. After seizing the operations at the Lay Main Wharf on Monday, the Lay Maritime Workers Union and the Ahi and Labu landowners yesterday petitioned the national government. The union said they have given sufficient time to the national government, alarming them through the media and other mediums with expectations of meeting with the government to address the issue. However, the government responding negatively through the media showed how unpatriotic the government is to them. Petitioning the national government, the union and the landowners are questioning the government whether or not the decision would align with the policy of empowering economical independence of this nation, supporting national enterprises, and reducing high unemployment rates. But the government's own irresponsible policy, change and selfish agendas in national state industries that has caused and resulted in us taking such a stand. With confidence, the union and the landowners boldly stand for the demands won't be negotiable. Our non negotiable stand is one, termination of the exponential interest process. Number two, no foreign takeover of co or control of lay title basin port terminal arrangement. Number three, acceptance of all petition points. They say they will not hand in their petition to any government officers or any representative nor any members of parliament including Mr. O'Neill and Mr. Micah, but have asked two ministers and two governors to receive the petition within 48 hours as of 10 a.m. yesterday. The government has led us to ask this, and number four, 48 hour ultimatum to collect our petition. Since the R&D operations here at the Lay Main Wharf ceased on Monday, companies here in Lay are experiencing shortage in the supplies. The union with the landowners did not mention what would be the next move, but it is more likely that they will close the Lay Main Wharf. Charles Kekeng, NBC National News, Lay.